Hey, welcome to the Artist Chat Room. I'm Natasha from Natasha Castellan Art. And the Artist Chat Room is where I talk to you about the business side of art to help you reach your full potential. Here I am, a friend, cheering you on the sidelines, saying, hey, go for it. You can do this. You've got this. You've got the skills. You've got the knowledge. And here's some ideas along the way to help you reach your next level. I've got this great quote here by Zig Ziglar, and it says, when our goals are clearly defined and intelligently set, you have in essence taken a major step forward to programming your left brain. So that frees your right brain to be its creative best. Hey, isn't that what we want? I know that's what I want. I'm sure that's what you want, to be your absolute creative best. And we need to do that and exercise and activate both sides of our brain. Artists need to make sure that they are tapping in to both the left and the right side to grow. It's not just about the creativity, it's about the business. Our brains are this complex organ in our body that, that makes this whole thing work and operate. It's what makes my blood pump through my veins. It what tells my lung to take a breath in and take a breath out. It does all this stuff without me even knowing. Sometimes I'm even, I might have a scratch or I do something and I'm doing it automatically. You know, have you ever felt like you've driven somewhere and you go, oh, how did I get here? I, I was on autopilot, a bit scary, but it happens. And your brain does things sometimes automatically and then of course there's all those things you have to choose what am I going to eat what am I going to wear where am I going to go what job am I going to have what's my career what am I going to paint what am I not going to paint what I'm not going to wear where I'm not going today all those kind of things your brain makes both active decisions now this left right and right brain concept and theory started in 1960 by Nobel Prize winner Roger W. Sperry and this is his theory and he talks about the left brain being the organized, the linear thinker, the mathematicians, the people who think in words and facts and sequences and that right brain people are people who are far more um, creative, intuitive. They notice the non-verbal cues that are happening they're the daydreamers. Now, there's also a whole lot of writing that absolutely um, busts this whole theory of left and right brain. But I don't know about you, but I know people who are incredibly creative, who can't keep their appointments, who can't remember um, you know, what they have to do. And then I know people who are really organized and efficient and just know everything <laughs> but say that they don't have a creative bone in their body i believe that we should be able to access both sides of the brain i believe that it's just one side that is dominant like my right hand is dominant from my left hand i'm right-handed obviously i've said that and it does way more than my left hand but it's not like my left hand is useless and is sitting behind my back doing nothing in fact, recently I've been painting my house and especially if you're going up there doing, you know, the cornices and thing, that left hand has gotten very <laughs> good at painting because I get tired, so I need both sides. So I believe that we need to be balanced. We need to get both those sides of our brain, both left and right hemisphere, working together, working to give ourselves the chance to be the best person the best artist the best business person that we can possibly be so there are things we can do there are exercises we can take in order to activate those sides of the brain so if you are that right side brain person that creative and you want to increase your left brain activity there's some things you can do you can do crossword puzzles and sudokus when you go for a drive, go home a different way or go to the shops a different way. Take a different path and a different route. Listen to lectures, do a course, listen to TED Talks. They're amazing, especially on things that you're not used to hearing. Read books, both fiction and non-fiction. Learn new things. Take the time.
time to learn about strategies and how they work. Now, if you're a right, right-brained person and you want to increase your activity, you want to increase your output, you know, when you're painting, when you're sculpting or whatever you're doing, to make sure you have some music on in the background, but without words, some instrumental music, because words are more left brain things. So get that right brain more when you're creative. Have no music. Make sure your phone is turned off. No one's home. No interruptions. Your notifications are turned off. You don't want to be interrupted. And um, set time aside that it's just your creative time with nothing happening. And you're more likely to be creative. Make sure, you, as artists, we need to make sure we understand that we're not just creatives. We're entrepreneurs. We have a business and we need to be serious about our business. We have to know, understand them about pricing. We need to um, send out newsletters or write social media um, blogs. We need to talk about our art. We need to be engaging our left brain constantly. It's important to be able to look at your analytics on social media and website, understand them and use them to grow, to get you to that next level. But if you put your head in the sand, and I know some artists who are absolutely great artists, who are way better than myself, who are phenomenal at doing their art, but they don't want to put their effort into the left brain. They don't want to learn about the business side about the pricing, about doing things in that way. And they just aren't going to get the sales as someone who's going to activate both sides of the brain and really go for it. Don't be frightened. If you are this big creative, don't be frightened. Start small. Start with one area and go, okay, I'm going to get really good at this and learn it slowly. And there's ways of doing it. There have been things that I've learned on YouTube and on Instagram and I do it by having my tablet or my laptop open and I learn about it here and then I practice on it on my phone. Go slowly. There's so many YouTubes out there. Step by step, learn. Get that left brain working. Grow your art business. You can do this. You've got this. You've got two sides of the brain. Use them both. You've got this. Look, if you like today's talk, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, subscribe. Also, I'm on Instagram. I go live once a week now and I speak to influential artists from all over the world, people who have got lots and lots of followers who are doing phenomenal things out there and also some starters, starter up businesses and how they're going and it's so inspiring to hear them. So come on. Come to my Instagram page, follow me on Instagram, follow me here, and then you won't miss out on any of the artist chat room. But for now, stay creative, do those exercises, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.